uh, Tennessee decided that they were just going to go to Tuscaloosa and make Alabama choke down a double cheese with bacon and lettuce and tomato and onion and just mm-hmm. shove it down their throat on game day. Yeah. All those kids there, all the white suits, white hard hats. Reese Davis is there. Oh, I They're know. all there. It's a big deal. Tuscaloosa is ramming and rocking the welcome in the balls, and they're going to win this game. Well, um, the refs didn't help at all. Uh, there were some questionable calls that that was not did not favor Bama. Not all night. They're just not going to play defense. So, uh, well, what, what did you? I watched the first half and some of the third, and I just got disgusted. Well, they both just one. shot. I mean, did, did, neither one of them shot. They both shot 30% from three, 30, not in the high 30. They both shot 35, 36 from the field. They shot, oh, and God, there were 77 threes in that ball game. Come on, guys. 77? No. <sighs> not by one team. Alabama shot 40. and No, Alabama shot 37. Tennessee shot 40. Oh, man. I mean, there's 130 shots and 77 of them's threes. Why? Well, that's that's the game we play now. And that comebacks you're just talking about, you know, how teams just can come. Oh, I watched. Uh, they were up. What, what was Bama up at one time? 10? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, dude, Arkansas was up 10 late and on Kentucky, and Kentucky hammered them. There's no more time in the game. So, I mean. Cutting down time is not going to fit. It's just how no, they play. No, I suggested that. It's That's probably play. silly. But they, you could do the running clock at a certain point. It's just how they play now. They, they come down and light it up. Well, well, you're either hitting if you don't, because, look, if you don't hit, you know this. What yeah. happens when you miss? They get the rebound. You're not getting putbacks. That, who's getting offensive boards is winning a game. Nobody does. Yeah. It seems like, three, seems like yeah, yeah. they shoot and miss Tennessee ball down the other end. If they hit one, wham, right? It's three nothing run. Then it, they, I mean, they're going 10 0 run. It's just three shots. It's 9 0 run. Yeah. You miss three shots, 9 0 run. You're nine down nine. 10, might as well be. And you get a foul on one of them. And if you hit one of the free throws. Well, let me ask you something. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking here. Uh, why are they all – okay, this is a great question. Only God can answer it. There is no answer for it. Why are they all getting hot at the end? I sat they... there and watched Pitt or Miami the other night nearly score half – one-third of the points they'd scored in 38 minutes Yeah. in the last two minutes. Why? I remember I told you that. that... Why are these balls going in with two minutes left oh, all of a sudden? The Homewood game? Well, I'd seen down there when I got down there that day. It's just be. I mean, you you got people shooting them and they're falling backwards. Their legs are split out. Ones here and here. They're banking them in, and none of this goes on. Until the, the last game. five minutes of the game, and I think it's just, almost like a phenomenon. Like they're they're loafing. You think load managing? Well, North Carolina had a thirteen point lead with three minutes left. Other day, you know what they had with one minute left? A one point lead. <laughs> Mississippi State hit a three-pointer the other day on Kentucky to tie it up, and the guy had two guys on him, and I swear his legs were spread out when he shot it. <laughs> Nothing but net. I don't get it. I don't get this game anymore. It's just a shoot fast. 111 to 102. It's like they relaxed. Kentucky they? beat Arkansas, you're talking yeah. about? Yeah, beat them 100. Well, they beat – Mississippi State, 91 to 89 the other night. Great game. Auburn over uh, Mississippi State. Auburn over Mississippi State. 78 63. All right. Top 10, just <clears throat> real fast. Duke beat Virginia, 75 48. North Carolina still rolling, 79 70. Iowa State beat UCF, 60 to 52. Kansas has lost the most games they've lost in years. They lost to Baylor, 74 to 82. Yeah, they're 21 and 6 shows. They've got them down at seven right now. Yeah, well, they're, they're fixing to drop them big time. Out of 10. Creighton hammered Marquette. Creighton's got a good problem. They do. I remember last year. They're becoming the Gonzaga. Yeah. Of Which Gonzaga's still good, but Creighton's becoming it, the uh, new Gonzaga. Uh, yeah. Tennessee, Matt's already said that, beat Alabama, 81 74. UConn, number three. And I won't apologize to everybody. I had them number one. I didn't realize Creighton had beat them earlier. Creighton and Auburn are the number are two of the top trending teams right now. Yeah. Yeah. Moved up a lot of fan points, trending points. Um 80 to 74. 
that was Purdue over Michigan State and uh, Dayton, the, the worst trending team right now. Number one, Houston. Yeah, beat Oklahoma, eighty-seven, eighty-five, twenty-four and three right now. So, Matt, I don't think that's going to change. I still think it's going to be Houston, Purdue, UConn, Tennessee. I think Arizona's going to move up. They did win pretty bad. They won one hundred and three to eighty-three over Oregon. Uh, Ohio's zone is going to be five. Iowa State six. Duke seven. This is just a prediction. Marquette. Uh, and I think Marquette's going to drop to ten. I think Creighton's going to get in this top ten with North Carolina, <laughs> Illinois. I don't. I think Auburn's going to drop. Y'all do remember Auburn did lose that Wednesday or Tuesday to Tennessee. Uh, Baylor thirteen. Kentucky jump up to fourteen. I think Kansas is dropping all the way to fifteen. Yeah, but they they won yesterday. They beat Mississippi State. Auburn did, yes. Yeah, so their did. last game they won, they beat Mississippi State. But they don't do it like that anymore. They take that whole week. So they had a win and a loss. They went one and one, but they did lose to number 14. Yeah, that ain't going to hurt them. They'll probably stay where they're at. I don't, they don't think they'd drop Marquette out for a loss to Creighton. No, I wouldn't. Uh, no, I wouldn't no, think so. Kansas is done because they lost both games this week. Yeah. They're done for the week. Uh, Auburn looking ahead. They got Missouri and Georgia uh, coming up. Tomorrow, well, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, day after, yeah, yep, Tuesday, and then the ninth, I guess, what, Thursday or Friday, they'll play uh, play Georgia, and Georgia's fifteen and fourteen. Yeah, Georgia, and actually has done better this year. They wanted a new coach. They didn't like their last one, and this one's come in. And Alabama shows to be at well. uh, at fourteen. Uh, they'll play Florida, both twenty and nine, be a, be a big game. Be, a big they're going to go to Florida. And then Arkansas is going to come to Tuscaloosa the ninth, and that'll that's going to be the end of the. That shows just to be the, I guess, the end of the the regular. I, I don't know where are they going to finish at here. Right? Tennessee's going to win the ACC. Well, I'm watching the games yesterday, and you know who they're talking about's got a good chance to win everything. Kentucky. They really carried on about the 14th place team that's struggling on defense. Tennessee's got South Carolina, and then they will host Kentucky the ninth. That's a big week. The ninth. Tennessee's got two tough ones left. Yeah, that's. I, a, I think that that'd that, be a week from yesterday. That'll be a. That will be a good game. Uh, Purdue and Alabama and Florida. I, I yeah, th- I think they projected Matt that Florida, Alabama, Auburn, Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi State, South Carolina are probably definitely in. Uh, Kentucky's got uh, host Vandy, then they'll go to Tennessee. Next two games. They should beat Vandy, which Vandy can sneak up on you and beat you. Uh, <clears throat> but they got to go to Tennessee. Top teams here that last the ninth, man. Uh, so whatever you're doing that day, um, the ninth will be on what day? Saturday. Six more days be this coming weekend. Yeah. So look for next show. We'll go over all the big games. These these big games will be because uh, Kansas goes to Houston. Right. Number right. one. Don't be surprised if so they upset them. If they beat Houston, they'll be back in this. Okay. Uh, it won't be nothing to – I just wouldn't be surprised. No. No, I wouldn't be shocked. Kansas is just still good, guys. Purdue, uh, 8074 Michigan State. They have uh, Illinois the fifth, and they'll play the 10th at 1130 on Fox. They'll play uh, Wisconsin. Which is they're not they're not real good. I hadn't, they were. We're just going through the top. They've struggled five the or six play. here. Uh, UConn has Marquette the sixth. Big game. Big That's game. a big game. Uh, twenty six and three. UConn against twenty two and seven. And this is the last week of the regular season for those of y'all that didn't know. Yeah, Saturday will be. This is it. And then the uh, tournament start the next week. The Arizona plays UCLA, and then they play USC. I had heard nothing that up. They're they're. Saying that LeBron's son's on a terrible team, and he needs he's to just transfer. Not good. He's just not a good. He's not a superstar. No, he, he's not his dad. I mean, Stop comparing him to five his and dad. a half points a game. I don't know. Jordan's, and his daddy's forty and still averaging twenty five. Jordan's son wouldn't. No, you know. Mm-hmm. He. Might, I mean, it happens. Dude, he's, we're talking about generational talent, people. <laughs> this. Well, guy, okay, let me say something. It's not right like a quick. Robert Ory. It was just a great player, played on a lot of good teams. Not like Robert Ory. You know, I'm not Robert, I'm not knocking Robert Ory. I'm this just guy saying. is not his daddy, which is fine, by yeah, the way, because started, take me man. from being having a really popular, uh, loved, very loved dad. Uh, I can go on record. That it's okay if you're not just exactly like him. No. And this kid's not, guys. No, his brother is. No, he's good. He's not. The little brother's so, coming. Well, they made such a big deal about the balls. 
Oh, yeah. Alonzo. Yeah. And they ended up – but one of those was fantastic. Yeah, the middle one. He was really good. Yeah. But they made <coughs> such a big deal about the first one that you kind of like forget the second one. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Yeah. Yeah. And he was – he's really good. Iowa State's still hanging in there. They host BYU, and then they'll play Kansas State. These are just some of the top ten teams and where they're at. And, of course, everybody wants to know about Carolina. 79-70 over North Carolina State Wolfpack. Uh, Duke, North Carolina play. And, uh, number nine and ten right as of now. Oh, yeah. Then Notre Dame will finish out with North Carolina. And yeah, lastly, Notre Dame lately. Um, yeah, Duke will play NC State. That's, that's the rival game. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just – being at where it's at, but both 23 and 6 at the time, North Carolina and Duke, that's the game that I used to set up and watch in 1990. Yeah. And, you know, I remember it's... sitting in the floor at the apartment over there. We lived over behind a country store and just couldn't wait for the game to come on. I don't think it's as big as it was. No, not in 1990. Yeah. Because you had stars on that. Didn't it? Now, there's good players now, but it ain't like it was. We're talking about Grant Hills and Leitners and Bobby Hurley's and right, man. Right. Yeah. So, but dudes, it is still a good one. I, I... I don't know why, and my uncle probably uh, forsake me over this, but I, I like North Carolina. I do. I don't, I'm not crazy you're not, about Duke. Well, you're banned from Christmas dinner, so I, used to, <laughs> I don't care nothing. I never have. Don't care about the Christmas dinner. I like Carolina. You hear me, old man? <laughs> the only time I liked Duke was when Jason Williams played there, or the one that made the comments about Caitlin Clark, which why he made those comments, I have no idea. He said she wasn't great. Uh, yeah, and then – um, I don't know why he would say that because she didn't have a championship. Swoops. Um, <clears throat> she's she needs to um read more before before you go on a show and talk about a player. It'd be a good idea to know more about the player. Okay, she's not very. Mm-hmm. Why well, she just don't? She's just saying what she feels at the moment, and mm-hmm. and she uh, plays to. Um, to how she looks, and she thinks that everybody else that looks like her agrees with her, and that's not true. She's being very foolish and naive. This call Clark out like, well, she had another year, and she's older. No, nope, that's a lie. That's not true. Well, she's played 40 more games. She didn't. Tonight. No, that's not true. You're wrong. She said she's accusing this girl of playing more games and being older. She's not. No. Why would you go on live show and say that? How can you do? She, did, she said that. Oh, yeah. That she'd had an extra year. Yeah. And then come back out and pretty much just took up for herself into saying, well, you know, it's, it's Black History Month and I need to, you know, speak about my people. And, well, that's great, but I don't know what this girl breaking the record has anything to do with, you know, Black History Month. I don't We've see it. We turned that into a black white thing in this country. And I have no idea what, that little crap know. that went on between Angel Reese and her. That was yeah, between so them. That was just trash that's, talking. I don't know. We just talked about Cam getting in a fight because guys talk trash. Girls can talk. It's sports. You're going to talk junk. They've, they've, uh, made it into something. And I don't not. think nobody should have gone after this Reese girl over that either. No, it was just, leave it alone. Who cares? <sighs> It's not a big deal. But, and then she's a huge fan of that Caitlin Clark. But that's what you need now to sell your show because you're owned by Disney. We are not. Mm. That's why you can come here and just watch. We're just going to talk about games and we'll give you some news and, you know, and, and welcome your comments. And we're not always right. And we have opinions, too. And are we wrong about stuff sometimes? Sure. But if I'm going to come on and make a point about LeBron James, I'd say, well, he's only averaged 20 his career. Well, then your people watching go, he's an idiot, turn it. <laughs> No, he don't. Ah, uh, well, you know, I told you that's, that stuff. Swopes, they hired her to be a coach, and she was a disaster. Yeah. They said she threw chairs. I think she's a little butthurt still about cried that. Cried. I think she's still a little hurt about that. Cut. The girls hated her. They they like, oh, gosh, if we got to hear yeah. one more speech when she breaks. <gasps> you hate me. <sighs> I mean, that was, I'm serious. They said it was stuff like that. Yeah, I don't. Uh, just stay away from those type of shows and get off ESPN. Come over here and watch but, us and Josh Pate, Crane and Company. Just sports news. We're just going to tell you like it is. And we're not trying to race bait. We don't even really talk about black and white no. stuff because we don't see a problem with black right. and white stuff. It's something that the media has created to do what they do. It, it's to entice people and to get people's blood pressure up so you'll come back and watch. Stop being baited. How about this? Just, just stop. There's a big rise in people watching women's basketball because of a white girl named Caitlin Clark and a black girl named Adri- Angel Reese. I love it. Okay, one black, one white. That, okay. Well, it's, it's any type of rise in female sports right now we should think is good, but it seems like they say that with one side of their mouth. On the other side of their mouth, they want men to compete with the girls. <laughs> right? 
So yes. what are we doing? Now, yeah. I think this month is, is Women's History Month. So if we want to really celebrate women like we should and in their sports and what they do and how they dominate in their sport, celebrate the women. Stop letting guys compete with girls. Stop. Yeah. Don't You're not celebrating women. You're pushing women back 100 years because they're losing ground in these to win championships, to be winners in classes from swimming or wrestling. You're telling me you're going to put a wrestling tights on a guy and let him go wrestle a girl. Are you serious? And you're saying that you're for women's rights and, and, and we need to make sure women, the, the, the WNBA needs to be pushed up a little more in the front. Well, they're not going to because you keep putting guys in to play with girls and running, track, all these events. Don't yeah. say one thing and then you're saying this and then you say that. That tells me you don't know what you're talking about. You need to get away from those TV shows. 